tell me, where are you from? Uh, Bentonville, Arkansas. Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And I saw you, what, a week or two ago. Yes. Can you tell us what was going on? I was in severe pain. I had um, what felt like my nerves were in uncontrollable spasms. Mm -hmm. um, that brought me to tears um, where I couldn't talk for at least a full minute. In your face? In my left, on my left side. Um, Can you inside, point to where it was? It was on the inside, all around the gums yeah. and the top and bottom, um, back teeth, front teeth, or back teeth on the on the left side, and then on the top, the back teeth on the left left side. But it wasn't in my teeth. It felt like nerves. And you thought it was gum, right? I thought it was something other than my teeth. Yep. Um, because it was. It just felt like maybe an exposed nerve sure. or something like that. Um, but it was uncontrollable spasms that would just elect, uh, like an electric shock through my body. To question, did it feel like it was a, like a burning pain or more so of an electrical? It felt like when it initially happened, it felt like a, an electric shock that Got went it. through my body to the point where I couldn't talk. And I'm talking emergency room pain. Got it. And then once it finished it or started dying down after a full minute, it only lasted for about a minute, yeah. then it would be a burning sensation uh -huh. on, on the left side of my cheek. Burning. Burning. So sharp and electrical heat. and then it was warm and, and burning. Burning and then heat Understood. On, this, on the left side of my cheek. Like it would just, this whole side would just be hot. Okay. So we injected you with a great auricular nerve block. Mm -hmm. We put anesthetic, it's a diagnostic injection. And that was, what, about a week ago? Yep. What's happened since then? I have not had one single episode. Not one single electric emergency room uncontrollable spasm. Not one. Not one. The versus? It was happening probably every 20 to 30 minutes when I came in here. That's pretty bad. And it had been going on for how long? For about a good week and a half. Gotcha. Now, who did you see for that? Four doctors. Four dentists. What kind of dentist? Do you remember? Um, a general, a regular dentist, mm -hmm. um, a periodontist, a gum specialist, and an endodontist. And a root canal specialist. Yes. Did they have, what, what were their words for you? You don't need a root canal. Yep. Uh, your gums and your teeth look healthy. Yep. Not sure what's going on. <laughs> Go see Dr. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> You came to see another dentist. Yes. <laughs> well, this is funny. We need to go with this. <laughs> so what did you think after you saw us? You thought we were nuts, too, because we were talking about sticking you in the neck, didn't, didn't you? <laughs> I was in the... I wanted to try anything. Like, yeah. I was at the mercy of, like, a research Fate. dentist. Like, like Fate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, help me, please. <laughs> okay. Okay, so today we're going to go ahead... Even though you're doing great, we're going to give you another little boost... We're going to do another one of those diagnostic injections. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to ramp down the sympathetic tone because you and I talked about what this probably is. Yes. The autonomic sympathetics coming into the head from the neck, that's one of the pathways whereby they come in. They cause chronic vasoconstriction. This could be something called complex regional pain syndrome, mm -hmm. like a mild case of it. Mm -hmm. It's not supposed to happen in the head and neck. Most physicians will argue that, it, that I'm wrong, that it, it doesn't happen. But it does happen. Because I work in the crazy TMJD world, you know, yeah. and we see it often. But physicians don't think it happens. So dentists don't even know about it. Physicians don't think it happens anywhere up in the head and neck. They think it's all in the extremities, basically, hmm. and the trunk. Yeah. You know what to expect. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to know. Like a little hair deeper, okay? Okay. You don't have any symptoms right now, though, right? Nope. Good. Let's keep it that way. So before I injected you last time, when you had your problem in the left cheek area, mm -hmm. cold was really problematic. Like iced tea, ice water. Couldn't drink it. It was impossible, that bad. Yeah. After we did the injection, did you notice a change? Yes. How well was it? I can drink it now. Now it's no big deal. Yeah. Okay, so 
how long had that been going on? Was that going on longer than the spasms? Yes. For years, months? Well, um, I just started noticing it um, when I started having the what I thought was tooth pain. And the that, cold sensitivity. Yes. So it came on about the time that she started having symptoms with the spasm pain. Right, right. Got it. Go ahead and do that now. Zero to ten. Ten's kidney stones. Ice water. Anything? One, not even. Not, not irritating. Mm -hmm. But had you done that two weeks ago, you'd have hit the roof, right? It was triggering it. That was a trigger for yeah. the pain. So right now your earlobe feels a little strange yeah. compared to the other side. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel any different? You didn't feel bad. Mm -mm. Okay. Go home. Let's talk again in a week or two. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.